Good morning! Good morning, everyone. It's -a me, Maxi. Ugh. Hello, hello. Good and Morgan. Welcome back. Welcome, welcome. It's -a me, Maxi. And welcome to the pre show for today's stream. Today, I'm going to be doing some art. I'm starting the week. It's Monday over here. Buenas. Hi, Charlie slash Cade. Welcome back. Welcome. Welcome. How you doing, friendo? Oh, please don't be like this. Don't tell me that. Oh my god. Sorry. My Apple pen has fallen asleep again. Buddy! Oh my god. I get, I'm gonna have to unplug my uh, my iPad. Oh well, that's just life. Kate says, EP, had to go to bed early last night because of a headache, but I'm okay. No worries, friendo. You know, like, it sucks, but honestly, like, you know, catching more, see more sleep? Not too bad, not too bad. I, I had a pretty, I don't wanna say a bad week, weekend. Uh, I realize I've been working too much uh, and Kitty is making sure that I don't burn myself out, and I've been at the at the cusp of burning out literally like every weekend for like the last like I don't know like two months. So I think I'm gonna slow down. Um, I feel like you know if I if I must be entirely frank and uh, vulnerable, I am impatient when it comes to my projects. I, I just I want this game to come out. I just want it to come out. But, but it's, it's still ways away. It's still ways, ways, ways away. So I am being better. I'm gonna take it slow. The pen woke up, let's go, Poggy. Um. Woohoo! Welcome back. Welcome. Hi, Chippy. Chippy, the betrayer. Chippy, the liar. Uh, hey. Yeah, for sure, Kate, I feel that. By the way, if you haven't already, please check out the VOD from yesterday's um, uh, Stardew Valley with Nomia. Uh, I'm not gonna say nothing. Other than it was incredible. You should definitely bookmark this. Bookmark that for sure. Oh no, I'm getting comments on YouTube that I can't reply to right now. Hi, Mira. Hello there. Welcome back. Welcome. Welcome. Hi there. The name is Maxi. Pronouns are they them. Welcome to the show. Uh, yeah, this is a nice creative place. Uh, and you play too many DTRPGs. You you have come to the right place. I am in fact well working on my upcoming DTRPG by making art for it. We'll be making monsters today. I like to take ideas from chat, so uh, if anybody has cool ideas for how I can improve the design of the monsters, please do shout at me. Uh, and by shout, I mean like gently, kindly uh, say hi. But yeah, uh, it's almost time for me to jump onto the main screen. Um, thankfully, my Apple Pencil woke up, so I don't have to unplug my iPad. But yeah, I had a very chaotic weekend, I'm not gonna lie. Vampires are pretty cool. Yo, yo, yo! Oh my god. Sorry, sorry. You reminded me that we did a Vampire the Masquerade one-shot with my friends. It was so good! Oh my god. Where would I have to go to get that VOD? Okay, wait, wait. I think I know where I need to go. Okay. YouTube.com. YouTube. We're gonna go to... Moontomes VOTs, I think. Moontomes VOTs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kate, Kate is correct. I'm gonna go to, Moon to, to Ronnie's VOTs. And I'm gonna go find that. Listen, I'm not saying you need to watch it, but I'm just saying. Oh my god, it's it so good! Okay, I found, I found, I found it. Uh, if you would like, uh, if you would like vampire-related content featuring me and my friends, we did do a one-shot of Vampire: The Masquerade Fifth Edition. Uh, I played as um, Connor, uh, a. <clears throat> A, a scoundrel, greedy little uh, loot gremlin with a heart of gold. 
Hi, Jada. Welcome back. Welcome. Hello, hello. And it's time for us to jump in. So the pre-show's over. It's 11 a.m. in Sully, sunny California. Let's jump right into the count of three, two, one. Boop. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Welcome. It's -a me, Maxi. Pronouns they, them. Welcome to the show. Today, we're going to be making art for my upcoming role-playing game. Let's put some music on. There we go. Just a little bit of lo-fi Leah, my favorite lo-fi musician. And as you can tell on the screen, here we have our doodles. Thank you, Cade. That command should work. There it is. Thank you, Cade. So, we have made a bunch of sketches so far. I will walk you through the ones we have already complete. So, we completed... Um, some NPCs you will meet early in the game, such as Sigfride, uh, Tuturin, who gives you the tutorial, uh, all of all of the job sketches, uh, Warrior, Thief, Bard, Miss Mage, who's the kind of healery kind of job, Ranger, and this Mage, who's kind of like the uh, magician wizard of sorts. <laughs> we also have um, uh, the Wise Frogo. The this Mage is serving. It's true. I'm expecting fan art of the Dismage. We also did the races you can play as. We have the, the uh, Patavita, the little potato people. We have uh, the human-like Ignivita. We have the Corvita, uh, tall, cool people with horns, and the uh, eared animal people of the Silvita. And we did three NPCs you can meet in the game. Uh, uh, Sidonia, the engineer, uh, Gossip Grandma, who gives you all the gossip, and uh, the wounded warrior slash soldier, who you meet at the beginning, because they got beat up by a bear. A bear. A, the bear. Hi, Ronnie. Welcome back. Welcome. How you doing today, friendo? Oh my god, yes. Let's go, Jada. I love that. If you have any questions running Iron Valley, please do reach out. Thankfully, there's a lot of uh, custom content made by uh, lovely members of the community. So if you need extra hands, there's that. Ronnie had a little scare, a scare earlier, but they're recovering. Hell yeah, you got this, Ronnie. So. Let me show you. Here's the old monsters we made a while back. These monsters designs, as you can tell from the fact that they're way smaller. I had fun drawing these, but we're gonna have to redraw them in the new art style. Uh, the art style for this game, at least for the images, is very much in the style of like zoom zoom heads. Uh, alternatively, like the Animal Crossing like portraits for the uh, villagers, or extra alternatively, there's one more, but I'm forgetting. Oh, if anybody ever played Pokemon Battle Trose, <laughs> then you know what I'm talking about. Also, give me a second while I clear my throat. There we go. Much be much better. So, we're gonna take these, these guys and we're gonna upgrade them, by the way. So, we have, uh, I have a list over here of monsters we need to draw. We need to redraw this slime in the new style. We need to do the ore muncher, which is this little guy right here. We also need to do... I'm sorry, by the way. I'm really sorry. We were saying that this, this M monster was going to be called Bad Apple. I'm sorry. I've, I've, I have made an executive decision. His name is Dappleganger. I'm sorry. I know that literally the majority of people on the stream did not like the name Dappleganger. But I think it's hilarious and I think you're all wrong. I'm sorry. I think you guys are on the wrong side of history. I think Dappleganger is the greatest name for a, for a monster ever. It's, it's so funny. Anyways. Oh my god, the, the support's coming in. Also, hi, Dobbs. Welcome back. Welcome. The support's coming in. Uh, and I would like to redraw the specter. And not just because it sounds like Doppy. There you go. Uh, I want to re redraw the specter because I feel like this would be... This, I like this, this monster design. I just think he's cool. So here's our list, by the way. For the demo, we need about these many monsters. A green slime, the ore muncher, the, the dappleganger, a little mushroom, a big mushroom, 
uh, a monster that I'm currently describing as Tragedine, and uh, the boss fight. We might sne sneaking one more. S sneaking? Uh, what is this? A Generation 1 water type Pokemon? Anyways, um. Um. I might want to put one more monster in the, in the demo. We will see. There's already quite a few monsters. Maxi, um. Is the little mushroom and big mushroom a reference to Dark Souls? Yes. Because I love the little mushroom and the big mushroom from Dark Souls. It's just so cute. So I'm gonna take the that idea and I'm gonna improve on it. I also have to say, what is this Metal Gear? What is this Metal Gear Solid? Oh my God! That's right. Okay, so uh, a part of me is like, do I begin with the slime? I feel like if I start with the slime, it's gonna get the least amount of det detail. Let's begin with the Orm Muncher, because the we, the identity of the Orm Muncher is pretty much set in stone. We're just gonna change the um, the ratio of the face. That's it. So I want to begin with the ore muncher because I'm afraid because I'm a baby. Uh, let's grab you. Let's just pull you out. Honestly, we're gonna go over. We're gonna make this. We're gonna duplicate this template. We're gonna rename you to uh, ore muncher. And we have our guides right here, by the way. Boop 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 boop. Maxi, oop 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 oop. What is this, Dang and Rampa? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Nomi is not awake. If Nomi was awake, Nomi would have would have yelled in chat, "Dang, Dang and Rampa!" All right. So here we have our guide, by the way, our general guide for the doodles. Since these are not gonna be humanoid characters, I'm not gonna worry too much about following the exact chin chin line. All right, I have a new layer. I'm good. I'm good to go. So, in case you don't know, on this stream we respect the Pomodoro technique. Uh, we we like to follow 25 minute focus cycles followed by a little break. Hi, Arsenic. Welcome back. Welcome. So, if you feel ever so inclined to also be creative alongside us, uh, we will also be respecting breaks and forcing you to take breaks. So, 25 minutes. Don't forget drawing a sit a sit spot. I it's literally I, I'm holding it in my random X's memory, Siska. Also, hi Siskers. Welcome back. Welcome. How you doing, friend? Though. There you go. I've turned on drawing assist. There you go. See, let me. I'm gonna. I'm gonna really quickly just draw. Um. Uh. A new NPC, Siska. By the way, there you go. Meow. There you go. There she is. There you go. There's Siska right there. It's Siskita. We'll see about about adding my my friends as bosses. I feel like that would be fun. Anyway, so we're gonna jump right in, beginning with a 25 minute cycle. So uh, get ready, prepared, and let's go. Boop. Hi, kitty. How you doing today, babe? Oh, I immediately when I did that big mouth, it felt good. I drew that big mouth, and I'm like, dude, what if it was a big mouth? So first, we're I am first doing a sketch, by the way. This is not final in any way, shape, or form. So I was I was looking, I was thinking. I feel like I can, I can literally just like do this and just make you like even dimmer there you go so here's the dealie okay i in preparation for today's stream i've been looking at uh akira Toyama's art uh r.i.p by the way uh, i've been looking at his art and the way that he designed monsters and I, I i believe that i have found a line that connects all the designs of his monsters okay are you ready for this Every single baddie that he drew was just a little guy. You, you, I, 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 I don't, I don't think Akira, I don't, I don't think Akira was was a weirdo. I'm, 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 I'm gonna. I, I never heard anything bad about him. There's an image of him. There's an image of him and uh, the 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 mangaka for um, for JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Uh, sharing a Sunday together. 
like literally like two straws into the sundae, each one like taking a sip at the same time. And I'm like, you know what? This is not the face of evil, you know? I might have to literally look up a picture of a, of a rabbit. Uh, cartoon rabbit, please do not give me Bugs Bunny, I swear to God. Maxi, did you go out of your way to type um, uh, <laughs> um, N dash bugs so that Bugs Bunny would not show up in your search results? Yes, I did. I did that on purpose. Okay, big, big, big old cheeks, big old cheeks. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. The thing is that this monster, it likes to chomp on ore. I don't know if I've made that very clear. He munches on ore. He love ore is his favorite, his favorite kind of guy. This is true. I have seen wild hares and some, and let me tell you, those guys, those guys. They were built for combat. The, they, they definitely did not have any points in charisma. As the resident bunny enjoyer, this is true. Thank you. I just, I feel like I need to like adjust like its face. It needs to be wider for sure. And I think that, that he should have literally no thoughts in his head, right? That's why I'm thinking that I should be as far away from the center as humanly possible or as bunnily possible. No thoughts, right? No thoughts in, in his little head. You make a really fair point there, Siskers. I should have known better than to make a D&D uh, &D related joke while Siska, queen of D&D, &D, was literally on the stream. I should have known better. Let's liquefied you a little bit. So I'm like, there's gotta be a way we can like. Also, shout out to the liquefied tool, by the way. That's my favorite little guy. I guess it could have the monsters not have the full like face length. The, the further apart I put his eyes, the, the, the less thoughts he has in his brain. That being said, that's actually a little bit too far apart. I'm also thinking maybe I should go back to the origins of all art. Do you do you want the bigger forehead? I don't know if I do. I legitimately don't know if I do. Let's try this again. First, we begin with the ultimate shape of them all. The bean, okay? You like it? Dale? Uh, Dale? Dale? Cade? Cade, Cade liked it? Oh, I'm not sure. You know what? I guess before I abandon it, I should actually do some more. I liked it. Dude, I must be entirely honest. I can never predict what you guys are going to like. This line is just for me to figure out where the hell the line would be. I was going to say just finish it and see what you don't like. Yes, this guy makes a fair point. Okay. Yeah, okay. This is this is fair. Maxi, have you considered just finishing the darn thing? Okay, that's a good that's a good point. And then you can put it aside. Okay, okay, you know what? Fair points all around. Fair points all around. Alright, so the ear's gonna have to be a little bit smaller than it normally would be. Because there just isn't enough space vertically to, like, make it go, you know, all the way to the stratosphere. It looks a little bit too humanoid for me. I gotta make him a little bit more like he's... Like it's just an, an, an animal. I'm gonna turn off the assist because I definitely want the, the ear folded over. I feel like that is one of the design aspects that I really want to maintain in this, in this design. So let's ju just for the sake of, of me having an idea what this would look like, let's just like pseudo color it real quick.
just for me, just for me to get an idea. It has a bit of a mouse or a deer vibe to it. It does. Like, like my only issue is that like, I'm afraid people are gonna think you can talk to these guy, to this guy, you know. So he, he has a little bit too much humanity. I feel like that's what the problem is. There's just a little too much humanity in this design. There might be just a little bit too much humanity in this design. For better and or for worse. But you, you can talk to him, but all he says is brr. Yeah, there you go. I'm also not sure if I want this to be the color. I could make it yellow instead. Wow, they... No, uh-uh, uh-uh. Yeah, the yellow bunny gives me immediate bad vibes. That is interesting, yeah. Does Do dot eyes indicate that you can't talk to, to them? Well, I guess the thing is that you might... I guess you might be able to talk to some animals now that I think about it. I guess it would have to be darker now, huh? And what about... I don't know. Hit me with, like... No, it would have to be lighter or a little, little bit darker. So, do dot eyes mean you can't talk to these fellas? I think that one possible solution to this design would be to make the mouth smaller and higher up so it looks more like a baby. Um, so, let, let's take this. Okay, now we, have, we have done this design. Okay, we have this design. I do... I do recognize that one issue is that it's not as big as the regular faces, but maybe that's okay. Like there's, there's quite a bit of vertical space that is not used with the monster design. Again, maybe that's okay. We're figuring things out. That's the, this is the thing about, you know, we're figuring things out as we go. What if I just merge you and I just say, screw it. We're gonna grab, no, you know what? Unmerge them. I changed my mind. So we're gonna make you smaller. We're gonna make you taller. Right. See. See. This is better. I. I. I think this is immediately better. By the way. This immediately feels better. It looks it, it, like he almost looks like he's like harmless. He's like, oh, I'm just here eating my ore. And then, he, and then he attacks you, you know? What if he had some of these? What is like, he's pissed. The stream hiccups are on your end as far as I'm aware. Uh, on my end, it looks good. Let me double check my end. Excellent. Um, excellent status on, my, on the stream uh, bit rate, so... No hiccup over here? Okay. Stream seems fine? Okay. So definitely, I, I definitely think moving the face up helps a lot here. So what else could we do? What else could we do to Im implicate the fact that this guy is... I guess I'm also partially concerned about players not wanting to beat up all these, you know, little woodland creatures. But then again, that's just that's just RPGs, baby. I could make I could make um make his head his, his head whiter. <laughs> no worries, kitty. <laughs> You're good. Let, let, let's let's do drawing assist. What if I just make your face wider? What happens if I just... Oh, yes, he's a... Oh, okay, 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 okay. So he's... So you're telling me he's chunky, huh? What if he's the angled... Oh, the little bit of, like, the angled eyes. You know, like, rabbits kind of do have that. We make him look... We make him look more like he's a little shit. 
We make him look like he's a little, he's, he's a little, he's a little, um, a little ore thief. I don't know about the scars. I definitely, I, I see that, not for this guy. I understand what Dallas is saying for sure. And I think there is value there, but not for this guy. Yeah, he's a little stinker. Look at him. I could. So to represent that he eats ore. We could give him some sort of like a stone or rock like feature, maybe like a little horn. I have been giving animals horns in this game. That is more punchable. He's he's definitely more punchable now. Definitely not that. So what it what if Just a little bit harder of a shape and on the ears. More squarish. And what, little horn? A little gem on its forehead? I don't know. I do realize, by the way, there is, in fact, a, a monster in Dragon Quest that is literally just a bunny with a horn. I believe it's, I believe it's called the bunny horn. Don't know if this is possible copyright infringement. Especially considering that all the mo like all the animals that I've drawn do happen to have horns in this setting for reasons that will make sense when you play the game. Let me let me look up the bunny corn. Two pairs of ears? We could go for two two pairs of ears is not What if he has loppy ears? What if he has loppy ears? Okay, 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 okay. Bunny corn from Dragon Quest. Let me just first look up what he looks like. No, okay, I'm not in danger. The bunny corn has a huge ass horn. Uh, so let me look up. Um, dude, I'm, I'm just gonna look up that digit. I'm just, I'm just gonna look up Blobmon. Just big old loppy ears, huh? Lop eared bunny. Yes. That would actually help us to use more of the horizontal space. Okay, so, so let's look at you. Let's take you and let's take you. We're going to take you out. But we're going to shave him. We're going to shave his head. And we're going to figure out where the hell we put all these uh, all these ears, okay? So the way that lo like loppy ears look, they're not like down. They're really more like side sideways. I'm look I'm, I'm I'm looking at real ass reference right now. Just to get an idea for how this should look like. I wonder if that if this makes him look even less threatening though. Have I gone a Okay, so maybe not love bunny because we all know that love bunnies are more adorable than regular bunnies. It's true. So I think he's just missing like one thing. He's missing like so a little bit of pizzazz. You know what I'm saying? It could be any an irregular fur pattern. I know he already has a horn and that's definitely irregular to begin with. A jackalope style set of antlers might be too much. Mm, yeah. I myself am partial to those bunnies with little baby ears. Hmm. Dude, what if he had like horns like the devil, huh? Wait, 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 wait. Wait, Lopmon has three horns? Would it be... What if we just give this guy three horns, actually? Dude. He definitely looks more threatening now. 
he definitely and like i feel like the ear being folded over adds a little bit of a charm point because he's like i'm a little wabbit but i'm also like i'm also like a baby i'm also like a baby you wouldn't want to punch me right and then, and then he punches you i am comfortable moving forward with this design I think this might be all right. So let's duplicate my Keichu. Let's Demio out, and let and let's let's do some line work. Okay, let's do some line work. By the way, if you, if you haven't seen it already, I put up the schedule for this week. Uh, I'm going to be away next week. Uh, so, <laughs> it's stuck up on Maxi this week. Uh, I'm going to be having a bunch of really fun streams. Uh, my 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 fr my good friend and bro, Plexworth, we're playing Left 4 Dead 2 this week with mods. So, uh, definitely expect... Kitty says, this bunny is now giving me Metal Gear Solid 5 Big Boss vibes. Excuse me? Hold up, hold up. What What if we what we make like one bunny that has an eye patch? We have an NPC bunny. That has an eye patch. And it looks like, there you go. Dude! He has like a chipped tooth. With game mods or channel mods or both? Uh oh oh oh! Forgive me, forgive me. Uh, with game mods, I I mean like I I put a request. Anybody's welcome to join. Kendra says they might join in for like a game or two, but again, I don't want to like you know, pressure anyone. It is also a different game than what we have played recently, so you know I don't I, I don't you know. I respect if some people don't feel like doing like a horror-ish style shooter game. All I want to say though is that we're definitely going to make the tank Shrek. So get excited for that. B has come to how dare you. No worries, Cade. Yeah, so uh, I'm also, I mentioned this on, on the post, but I am going to be coding this week live on stream. So get excited for me to be absolutely terrified. I got to remake the UI for the game, so I'll be doing that. Uh, and as for the rest of this of the week, um, I am going to be playing uh, an RPG tomorrow, uh, an, an RPG by Yoko Taro that nobody knows about called The Voice of Cards. It's a classic uh, Japanese role-playing game where you play the entirety of it using cards. I'm looking forward to playing that. Excuse you? No, no one? Hi? Hello? I'm no one? Dude, so many people don't know it exists. <laughs> He's evil. <laughs> this ore muncher. No, definitely should be like a little bit. It's an ore muncher. He's here to munch on your ore. I was able to get the entire trilogy of that game series pretty cheap on Steam, so I'm like, dude, let's go. Full series confirmed. They're pretty low on sale literally right now. Also, hi, Safifi. Welcome back. Welcome. Welcome. How you doing today? Ronnie's been here for a little while, but they're like, but they, they took offense to me saying that nobody knows about uh, the voice of cards. Which I mean, like, it's perfectly fair. I did, I did disrespect voice of cards. 
Is that Kendra? Oh my god! <laughs> Hi, Candace. Welcome back. Welcome. Wow, I can't believe, y'all, y'all, y'all. We, we have a celebrity here on the stream. I can't believe that a fa famous cosplayer, uh, Kendra Purpleface PhD, has the time to come uh, watch my lowly, lowly stream. Oh, that sucks, Sofifi. Yo, yo, uh, mad respect to everybody dealing with the the moon sickness. Mad respect, absolutely respect everyone dealing with the moon sickness. No fool that over ear, yes. I think I want to break up the um, the symmetry a little bit. So I'm gonna fold over that ear, methinks. Now I'm gonna give myself, I'm gonna do myself a favor. What? Woohoo! Me, me, me when Chippy appears on screen. Woohoo! Also, if you haven't already, please watch that. The vod of us playing Stardew Valley yesterday. Oh my god. To think that I once trusted Chippy. I love a bunny with a folded ear. It's it, it's it's a good charm point. It's honestly a really good charm point. It also it, it breaks up the symmetry. So like, let's do it. Did you, did you see how I lost confidence in the middle of that stroke? By the way, I lost so much confidence in the middle of that stroke. I was like, I'm doing great, and then I'm like, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. Yeah, so, uh, if anybody went over, went, uh, to PAX, Kendra was there cosplaying. And that's all the information I am legally allowed to give you. But let's just say, it was a good time. Kendra got photographed a lot. I'll probably share more pics as Kendra. Dan needed most of the photos on film, so we have to wait to get them back. Oh my god. <laughs> Is Danny in the room, Kendra? Are you are you watching on the TV? Danny, you're so bougie. Taking photos on actual film? What is this? The year 1985? No, they're in bed. Okay, just turn up the volume. I'll wake them up. Danny! Danny, you're so bougie! I don't know if I like the big shadow, but maybe it's good. Maybe I'm overthinking it. Maybe I'm overthinking it. Have y'all considered the fact that maybe I'm overthinking it? We might also have to review the colors of the bunny. I like the blue, the blue, um... So maybe the interior part of the bunny will change. Anyways... Everyone... That little timer you heard... Is to indicate that we're on break. I'm gonna get up and stretch, and you should do the same thing as well. Kendra... Kendra, Kendra, are you implying... Are you suggesting, suggesting, are you suggesting that you met Brian David Gilbert in real life and he gave you buttons? Kendra, you can't go around spreading these lies, Kendra. No one has met B Brian David Gilbert. He doesn't exist. <laughs> BDG is just a, a very well composed uh, ARG. Yeah, Kendra. Does it count as meeting BDG if you didn't kiss him in the mouth? Wow. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, anyway, so I'm, I'm up and stretching. 
uh, I would recommend that you do the same. You know, it's good to get up and stretch every once in a while, especially if you've been sitting down for a good while. If you've been watching videos on the desk for a good while, get up and stretch. Stretch your arms. I'm doing that right now. And now, all stretched up. Ho ho ho. I am back on the desk. Standing. I am standing on my desk. <laughs> I love that. Kendra says, I told him that passing a button from BDG to me has made this friend a key figure of my gender journey. There you go. Boy. I'm gonna take a sip of water, by the way. What are you all sipping on? You better have something to sip on. I got a big jug of water. Fun fact, I quit caffeine last week. Again. Maxi, if you quit caffeine, how did you go back on caffeine? What happened? My parents... My parents went to Mexico. And they brought back a bag of delicious, real-ass Mexican coffee. So what was I gonna do? Not drink it? Turns out the correct action was to not drink it. Correct action? Don't drink the coffee. So, uh, I'm off caffeine now. And I actually feel really good. Mexican coffee goes hard, you should drink it. Chip Chippy is- Chippy, stop. I no longer trust Chippy. You know, Chips, I want you to know something, by the way. Chips, Chips, Chips. Lean closer. Lean closer to the screen. Chips. Yesterday. Hours after Kitty and I had a uh, the collab with you. We, we showered. I was out of the shower. I was drying my hair when I looked at myself in the mirror and I had a terrible realization. The entire time that Kitty and I were working hard at the farm, literally working to improve the status of our sometimes farm, you were just out there doing your own side quest, and I'm so, so pissed! <laughs> I was so pissed! I, I realized hours later, I'm like... The whole time we were playing, Chips was just playing a different game! The whole time, Chippy was just playing us like a damn fiddle! And stone. Yeah, that's why we have like 16 stacks of stone. Uh, uh, Ken Kendra, do I have to like message you in real life? Yo, yo, you know what, you know what I should do? I should call Kendra's number and be like, drink water. Hydrate, you bastard! Hydrate! Chippy, Chippy. I love you. I love you, Chippy. I love you. I'm not mad. I'm a little mad. But it's okay. It will go away because I love you. And you're hilarious. And the ploy was good. Kendra, I have to ask you a ho Kendra... It, 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 stop the music, stop the music, stop the music, I have a question, Kendra, 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 Kendra. Kendra says in chat, I need to buy more campy water bottles because I'm legit not hydrating unless the fishbowl is clean. <coughs> Honey, are you, are, are you drinking from the fishbowl? Is that, is it, are you drinking from the fishbowl because it's campy? Kendra, don't drink from the fishbowl! Just get yourself a have you not seen it? No! Seen what? <laughs> it's a fishbowl cup with a fish that attaches to the straw. It holds three cups of water. Okay, Kendra, I have a question. Are you washing the cup every time you have three glasses of water? Because, like, I got news for you. You're washing that cup with water. It, 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 it I, I don't think it's doing much, Kendra. You wash it at the end of the day. It's a cup of water. You only drink it with, you only use water in it. 
I don't think you need to wash a cup of water if you literally use it like every day. That's germs? Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. If only you knew what's inside of you. Anyways. <laughs> I love you, Kendra. I'm, I know where, don't worry. I'm gonna call you at random times and I'm gonna tell you to drink water. No, 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 like, you have to wash them eventually. I respect that, Doppy. I respect that. But not every day. You don't have to wash your water bottle every day. I agree. Germs love water. It's true. Trust me. I have a lot of those little, like, um, cleaners. I use those for cleaning my water bottle because, you know, you know, when I do it, I do it thoroughly. But you don't have to do it every day. Anyways, I'm gonna show the timer now. We're gonna get back to work. Three, two, one, boop. All right, so, the colors for this, for this boyo. So you may be wondering, Maxi, these colors are not the same. Yeah, we're using a different color scheme. Dude? Germa in my cup? Run it! <laughs> <laughs> Fellas, I have a question. What do you mean your water goes stale? Fellas, I got I got questions to ask about water and going stale. Okay, we're definitely gonna do the light blue. Oh, what else? What else? What do I do? <laughs> I'm neurodivergent too. I guess I'm just neurodivergent in a different way. Yo, 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 Dallas is getting a bottle of water right now in solidarity. You better drink some water right now, Kendra. Okay, I'm looking at this color scheme and it has to be this, this skin tone. My only issue is that this is the color that I use for people's skins. Maybe it's fine. I'm gonna just jump in and use these colors and then we'll fix it later. How about that? Don't mind me checking that I'm not like doing anything wrong. Me with the we me when the security guard at the at the mall is following me. Oh, I better make sure I'm not doing anything wrong. Maxi, are you often followed around by by security guards? No, no, that that was a joke in bad faith. That doesn't really happen to me. They're to be, they're too busy making sure that nobody is skating inside of the goddamn mall. There is something here. I don't know if I like it. I don't know if I like it. I might have to. Ha I think I need to use the the, the the deeper blue. Unfortunately, I'm not sure if I like. I'm not sure if I like you, buddy. I think I'm gonna have to give you. I'm gonna have to give you one of these, and then one of these, and then one of these. There we go. Something like this. <laughs> Maxi, drop the topic about the water, Maxi. The eyes will be drawn to the horns and then the eyes. I suspect, so that might influence color decisions, yeah. I definitely think that co that the brightest color should be the one for the horns and the teeth. <laughs> no worries, Kate. See you in a minute.
Maybe Maxi likes a taste of mystery water germs. Okay, now listen. Okay, so the, I I was gonna go back to the topic of water, not to donk on on that, but my issue is that like Kendra says that they needed another fun cup, and I'm just like, you, you, that's not gonna solve the problem of needing to wash it. <laughs> Hi, Kit. Welcome back. Welcome. Welcome. Hi, Kit. How you doing? It's been a little bit. I hope everything's been okay. But it solves the dehydration somehow. Somehow. Overall, yeah. Dude, that is so good. Legitimately, though. Being somewhat good, we, we take those. That's a win. Yeah, that's life, though. It, it, that's a good attitude to have, though, honestly. You know, moments do happen. But not letting them get to us. That's half. That's halfway there. That is true. You know, sometimes having a fun cup does make you drink more water. That's fair. You know what? You know what? I retract my statements. What do I know? The answer today is nothing. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, Dallas. So you may be wondering, Maxi, why did you already go hard on the on the shading here? I want, I, I want to just kind of see what this is going to look like. So I figured I would just immediately just go in. So let's do the highlights now, which will be just pure ass white. Bunny monster. Yeah, it's a bunny monster from my upcoming game. It's a bunny. It's a silly little guy who's going to take your 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 gold. Oh hell yeah. Dude, any any time any chance one gets to make art is good, honestly. No, I think I have to do the white again. Yeah, I have to do the white again. I really do like the shine on the teeth, though. Maybe make it a little bit more, like, uniform, but, like... The shine on the teeth just really makes it look like those are really sharp teeth, which I love. Which, of course, they have to be. I mean, this little fella is gonna... He's coming for your ore. <laughs> Hell yeah. Dude, sp spoiling your characters is good stuff, honestly. A few of my old characters deserve some spoiling, for sure. All the calls are, are done. Welcome back, kitty. Good job. That little fella do be crunching? Dude, dude. He gone crunch so much of your ore, you don't even know. You're not even ready.
Okay, so now that we have, like, some colors going on here. I think he's just gonna, like, either A, we change the blue. We either make the blue lighter, but if we do that, we have to change what the interior color is. What, just trans colors? I don't think so. A full blue bunny? I don't think so either. Unfortunately, with this color palette, our only option is literally just going... <laughs> Hi, Simon. Welcome back. Welcome. <laughs> unless we, unless we moved away from the from the rabbit being blue, but I like him being blue though. I think this might just have to be the color scheme. I'm not a hundred percent happy, but then again, when when am I ha when am I a hundred percent happy with my work? Blue and green? No, I'm not sure about blue and green. I, I considered it without saying it out loud. I don't think so. Primarily because uh, the slime is going to be entirely green. So I feel like I'm already using that palette. Interesting. He just says, you're your worst critic? Wow. Wow, just because it's true doesn't mean you can just say it like that. Just because it's true. Limited palettes are a pain. They are, but they're also fun. I've really been enjoying doing this limited palette. It also, I mean, like... It, it's gonna make the game look more internally consistent, so, you know. It's almost as though everything's gonna look like it's part of the same thing. Yo, hell yeah, Kendra, thank you for sharing. Forgive me if I get quiet for a second. I'm just like, some of these uh, strokes do kind of ask for my entire undivided attention. Something like this? Definitely no shadow on their eyes, I don't think so. Oh, definitely the shot, the little, the little, little, like, nose bridge. Yeah, for sure. Okay, let's now add some shading to the... Okay, so, 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 so Dallas was saying maybe making it entirely blue, like, the, like, the way that some, you know, like, it's like a brown bunny, but it's all blue. Bluish and yellow makes me think of Sonic. I didn't want to say it, Simon, but you're correct. Yeah, the purple shadows does help. I mean, like, I'm, I'm, I'm currently considering. I mean, like, do I do just pure blue? This might be the only creature in the demo that does have this color scheme, so maybe that is okay. Fellas, what do we? How do we feel about the blue bunny? How do we feel about the blue bunny without the? Um, I was gonna call it the fleshy interior. Please do not do that. Do not call it that. I like the blue. I mean, like, what if, what if, I, okay, what if I just alpha lock me and then just fill me? No. What if it was white? What if it was like a white bunny? No. It's also a good palette swap potential. I like the contrast with the warmer color, so it's chippy. It is, it's tough, right? It's tough. I'm not done with the shading and stuff like that yet, by the way. Haven't even done the highlights either, actually. Let's do the highlights while I'm thinking about it.
<laughs> no worries. Yeah, it was nice to see you. Please take care of yourself, okay? Have a lovely rest of your day. Bye bye. So long, eh, Bowser. Huh. Top lid? How do we feel about the top of the eye being highlighted? I did that without thinking and now I'm I It does it makes it look more like an animal actually kind of draws to the darkness of the eye. It does kind of make it look more like an animal. I don't know what you all think. <laughs> Hi May. Welcome back. Welcome. How are you doing today, May? May says it's adorable. I mean, like, that's all I need to hear. I'm stealing that trick. I'm doing okay. Hell yeah. Please, dude. All my tricks are stolen, so please feel free to ste steal from me. It looks weird with the eyeline. It definitely... It, 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 it guides you towards, like, the... Uh, hope everyone is doing rad. Oh, my God. Yeah, it definitely, like... It makes it look more like it's an animal, which which is definitely the vibe that I would like for this little fella. Sorry for being quiet, I am in the zone. Mm, let's do this instead. There you go. Oh, it's Vervasa, yes. I was gonna grab you, I'll follow you. It's got a great balance. Thank you. Thank you, Dallas. I really appreciate it. Again, like a lot of the sign is just trying stuff out and seeing what works and what doesn't. You really, you would like to think that maybe there is some sort of like way to know what's good and what isn't before you spend time working on it. Uh, the answer, is, unfortunately, there is, that is not the case. I think that's him. Oh wait, hold up. I haven't done the lines yet. Everybody stop. Don't celebrate just yet. I have not done the lines for him, by the way. The lines might actually really help here. What else needs to get colored? Let's grab you. I mean, I feel like legitimately you all just need to get colored in. Maybe adding just a little bit of a lighter tone? Yeah, and the part of the horn that is getting caught by the light. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. For sure, for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. I'm gonna overdraw a little bit here because I'm gonna fill in the in-between with this color right here. There we go. 
Okay, now what, Maxi? Uh, now we're gonna just add the, the backlit. Mm, the backlit might be a little bit too bright. Let's try something like this. Well, wow, Nightbot really is going at it today, huh? He's gotta earn his keep. He's got a family to feed, don't you know? <laughs> there you go! Yeah, there you go! That's a good quote, thank you, Sufifi. Quote 524. Just say you like sexy woman! Own it! What are you afraid of? Chippy, 2023. I must say... One of the best quotes, honestly. One of the top quotes. What are you afraid of? Just say you like sexy woman. You know, as true then as it is today, you know? There you go, Safifi. <laughs> You're very brave. I think this shout outs to sexy woman, honestly. We know she's out there. She's out there. I think this is him. I guess it could add just a little bit of a sh okay, you know what? I'm going to do one last thing. Cuz I did not add highlights to this. What if I add just a little bit? No. We really don't have like a good color for shines on the on the on the nose. You know what? I'm calling it. This is it. That's him. Uh, did I do all of this in one layer? Are you kidding me? In one in one thingy inside of the whole thingy? I'm gonna duplicate you. We're gonna. I'm gonna flatten you. Boom. There you go. Wait. Why are you all messed up? I really should not delete my backups, Maxi. Can I please implore you, Maxi, to not delete your backups? There we go. This is the Vaughn. There we go. And there is the Ore Muncher, the first enemy. Well, one of the first enemies you'll encounter in the game. He's a little fella who wants to munch on your ore. All right, now. Let's grab all the sketches. Duplicate you. Grab you. I think I'm safe to delete all of these for now. This will be the slime. I feel like I'm ready for the slime. It is the green slime. Slime? So I'm gonna keep the ore muncher like close so that I can reference the size of him. Look at the size of that fella. In fact, let's duplicate him and let's move him literally into this folder. There we go. We'll use him as reference from now on, okay? So. Let me go grab the slime. So, I, I was doing a bunch of study. I was studying the slime. You know, I, I, was, I was really spending my time studying the slime. <laughs> Dude, one of the old quotes. Quote 68. I hate the milking discourse right now. LOL. That's a Kendra 2023. Oh, rip, Kendra. Rip. So, I, I have looked far and wide for a good slime design. I think that the first step to making a good slime design is that he has to be flat at the bottom. He must be a flappy boy. He must be flappy, and he must be shaped like a bean. We all know that the bean is the ultimate form. The ultimate life form is, in fact, the bean. So let me just liquefy you. I have like a minute before the timer goes off, so you know what? I'm gonna try to push this along as quickly as I can. I don't think I'm gonna be very successful, but you know what? That's life.
Maybe, maybe I don't have like the... You know what? Maybe I should not... Okay, maybe... He's definitely flat. Is that better? I don't think that's better. Let me open my... I have a tab of nothing but cute pictures of slimes. Let me look at the referons. They are round at the bottom. Okay, okay. Round at the bottom. Okay. Round at the bottom. R round at the bottom. Round at the bottom. What if we follow like a similar shape? And then we're gonna grab the liquify tool. We're gonna just like mess with this a little bit. Definitely a little bit wider for the slime for sure. Maybe not taller. I don't know if I want to evoke the the idea that the slime has cheekbones, but kind of like a two-part shape, like a blah blah and then a blah blah blah. I believe that is a technical name, by the way. It's the blah blah and the blah blah blah. Fun fact that it's actually a technical name. By the way, we're on break. Get up and stretch. I'm looking at that. Is a slime. A slime has no thoughts. A slime is just the, like a little guy. Okay. It's a little guy who thinks he's fly, also known as a buster. Always talking about what he wants, but he, he just sits on his slime ass. So no, I don't want your goop. No, I don't wanna. I don't wanna. <laughs> okay, never mind. Okay, all right, all right, all right. This song parody has no. The, in fact, the, kidding, thank you for hitting me with Rad Jam. I appreciate it. Reminds me that I gotta set up the emotes again. I'm actually, I'm being productive. I'm actually making a list of things I need to do. So, um, set up BTTV emotes again. There you go. We're doing that for reals. The emotes are gonna come back. You'll be able to say rat jam and then a, an emoji. An e and a gif of a rat dancing will fly across the screen. Or so help me God, I will figure out how to do it. Uh, but anyways, please remember to get up and stretch. Do it for me. If you won't do it for Kendra, do it for me. By the way, Kendra, take a sip of water, by the way. You must have a plastic cup somewhere. Just fill it up with water. I had been playing Isaac and hadn't sipped. Sipping now? Okay, good. I like Kendra just sneaking that in, by the way, that they were playing Isaac. Some people never change. You know... Kendra, I'm this close. Uh, for anybody who can't see my fingers right now, my index and thumb are, like, micrometers away from each other, okay? Kendra, I'm this close. I'm gonna message Edmund McMillan. And I'm gonna tell him to make a patch for the game that literally says, if your name is Kendra, stop lying. Also, holy crap. Holy crap. Kendra wants to play GTA? Oh my God. They're basically a straight white boy now. Let's go. Oliver, I'm so proud of you. Oh my god, Kendra. Kendra, I swear to god. Kitty says, why play Isaac when you can play I sip? And Kendra says, I sip? Question mark? Kitty says, yeah, you ship you sip that water. <laughs> got him. Got him. Uh, could I get a bunch of people saying got him in chat, please? Just so, just so Kendra can internalize this lesson. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Got him. I'm gonna get Edmund McMillan to just say please. Got him. Thank you. Thank you. Literally, the game will just tell you to stop playing. Yes. <laughs> no, no, no. Give him, like, bean eyes? Mm. 
Got him. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It wasn't me who got Kendra, but Kitty and I, you know, when you're married, you're entitled to 50% of their pogs. Dot ice equals no thoughts, though. I realize what what, I, what I've kind of drawn is kind of like a turtle mouth. What if I give him a turtle mouth? Turtle mouth. I I meant like a drawing, not like a image. Not excuse me. That's what the inside of a turtle mouth looks like. Eh? Don't look this up, by the way. Do not look up what the inside of a turtle mouth looks like. The flux. Sorry, I'm like looking at it. Like, I'm just like mesmerized. Man, nature is wild. Nature is a wild place, y'all. You can't stop me. Rip, rip, Doppy. Doppy's about, Doppy's about to unlock the hidden knowledge. You're making me want to look it up. Uh, just be, be, just keep in mind that nature is fucked up. Keep in mind, remember that nature is fucked up. Maxi, why didn't you stop me? I told you not to do it. I told you not to do it. I mean, it, 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 it trigger warning in nature. I mean, like truth be told, it's like, well, yeah, they don't have teeth. How do you think stuff is gonna get shredded on the way down? Anyways, just look into the empty eyes of this slime, okay? I realize that I'm basically just drawing, like, the parentheses, like, face. So I'm like, he should, he, he should just have, like, a, a big, dumb little grin. Maybe, like, a little, maybe a little smile? Maybe a little smile? Uh, let me look at pictures of slimes. See, some games don't give slimes mouths. And I'm like, that's, that feels like a, like a missed opportunity. Clearly, they, they, they're still going to have, like, a little blushy on them. I will say... <laughs> if you think the white is the eyes, it looks like they have, like... They look like they have concerned eyebrows. This line is just so that I remember they have cheeks, by the way. That's all, that's all it is for. The slimes you may want to feel bad about beating up, but I mean, like, that's just life, though. Sometimes you should feel bad about beating up little guys. So my other thing is that some, like, slimes normally do have, like, a little bit of, like, a, you know, little tip. I don't know what you call this. The point of the slime. I could give them a pompon. Probably not. How about a dripping smile? I don't know. I, th I think it might. It might look a little. I, I don't. I don't know about the dripping smile. I also don't know about the cat smile. I'm not gonna. Maybe the. You definitely. I mean, like, it's definitely a vibe, but I'm not sure. Could also steal a little bit of the design aspects from Slime Rancher because they have mouths like this. Which this is pretty cute, but I'm not sure. I like the little point at the top. Again, this slime is gonna be like the simplest little fella in the whole world. I'm gonna erase the, these so there's no confusion as to what's what. And underneath, I'm going to add... And I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure the only way we can do this is just if it's straight up green. You're gonna be a green little, a green little, this is a story. 
about a little guy who lived in a green world. You can sing the rest of the song in your head. You, you don't need me for that. Just the little goopy guy. How do we feel about this goopy guy, by the way? <laughs> That's just a song about Cade? How dare you? How do we feel about this little guy? Because I realize that, like, it's a really simplistic shape. You know what? What if we incorporated elements of, like, gummies? Gummies. What if, like, I incorporated the... What if I incorporated, like... Like, gummy bears have, like, the like the little, like, ears on top, right? Like, gummy bears. The top? Excuse me? J JK, JK, I'm so tired. How Kendra, how dare you? This is, this is a Christian Minecraft server. Sir, this is a Christian Minecraft server, please. So the slimes are everywhere in the setting. And in fact, the reason that the fact that they're out and about is kind of important to the setting as opposed to just living in their own little corners of the world. Now, my question is, what if, hear me out, okay, hear me out. What if, what if they had, li what if they had little bumps? What if, what if they had little bumps on their heads? But what if it had a little bump? What if it had a little bump that looked like a little, like a little bear ear? But what if there was a little, a little bump, huh? This might make them extra cute. You do already have a bear. Yeah? So what? Bears don't own the copyright on ears. I'm trying to make these a little bit more... What, what, what would you say? Like, iconic? You know, these are the mice lives. I want them to stand out a little bit more than just like, you know... I'm sorry, I googled gummy bears, and I got a product that says mi Milk chocolate covered gummy bears, and I'm like That honestly goes kind of hard Well now I want some chocolate covered gummy bears uh, If you would like <laughs> If you would like to treat me to a bag of uh, chocolate com covered gummy bears, please consider supporting me on coffee.com slash mkaren You can see the evolution of of, of, of the of this line, by the way. The, evolu the evolution of the slime. <laughs> but but what if they had little points like their cat ears, huh? Everyone loves cat ears. It's true. I'm just saying The children they long for cat shaped things Could there be lore explaining why the slimes have ear cat cat ears They did that that is, that is true the slime rancher did in fact create cat slimes before But then what if he was buff though? What if he was like big buff, you know? No, okay. That's a that's a joke. What if he was angry? What if he looked not what if he had glasses? Hmm. 
Hmm. I do like cat ears though. See, see, at least Doppy is somewhat on my side. White glasses, let out. A, a kitty I was legitimately just that. That was that. That was the equivalent of writing squiggles along the margins of my notebook. I was on the phone. Yeah, but who was phone? But then who was phone? I do feel... Am I going to have to give them a different name? Okay, Maxi. What if? Hear me out, Maxi. Hear me out, Maxi. Frog slime? Frog slime? Frog slime? I don't know. I don't know if I like that. Kitty says, Maxi, I love you, but you don't have to reinvent the slime. I mean, frime? It just looks like a normal frog. This is a fair point, Arsenic. Kitty says, you don't have to reinvent the slime. But I want, I want, it, I want it to be iconic. You know what? I'm going to listen to the advice of my good friend, Siska. And I'm gonna just, I wanna put, you know what? Let's forget about this line for now. I'm gonna put that one in the back pocket for now. Oh, look at him. Do I even need all these references? Why don't, why, don't, why don't I just go in and just start drawing like a Uh, So I'm gonna, I'm gonna just move on to the next doodle because I, I have no confidence on that slime. I'm not gonna lie to you. And if you're like, Maxi, I don't get what the problem is. You must remember what my wife said earlier. I am my my worst critic. My harshest critic is me. That's me. Your honor, that's me. I'm the harshest critic. So I'm going to move right along to another thing that needs to be drawn. Instead of lingering on it, I'm going to move on. Because I know myself way too well. If I bash my head against the wall, nothing's gonna get no, nothing. Nothing is gonna get done. You may think to yourselves, "Yeah, just bash your, your head against the wall until the ideas come out." And the thing is, that's not ideas. That's blood. Kitty, how how dare you, Kitty? You cannot invoke that here. Kitty, take your bad vibes and go 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 take a fifteen. I can't believe you would invoke those words here, Kitty. In this sacred place. Nah, it's okay. I, 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 I forgive you. I forgive you. It's okay, Kitty. I forgive you this one time. Does it look like a tooth right now? Yes, it kind of does. Don't worry about it, okay? Maxi, have you considered just looking at a picture of an apple? You make a make you, you make a fair point. Uh, harsh critic inside of me. Apple drawing. Instead of trying to draw an apple from memory, how about you just like look at a drawing, Maxi? But Maxi, there's already a drawing right there. Yeah, but more references is always better. Okay, that's the thing nobody ever tells you. Here's an apple that looks like an apple. There we go, Kitty. Kitty gets it. Yes, I see. Yes. Okay, now on, on assist me. And I'm thinking literally just like, mm, yum meow. We go back to potato wedges. When in doubt, always go back to potato wedges, okay? When in doubt, potato wedges. Yeah, that actually feels pretty good. That feels pretty good. 
I might make it a little bit shorter. You know what? Before, after, yeah, that's better. In wedges we trust, it's so true! All right, so now that we have the apple, the apple, now we must draw the ganger. Which definitely, he still has to be coming out of the side, methinks. Okay, um, or Muncher, you're good to go away for a minute, okay? Gotta grab this guy, gotta mess with this guy just a little bit. Give the impression that he's popping like, almost like a 3D image, if that makes any sense. And then there he is. No thoughts in his head. And then we and then, yeah, we literally just repeat the same idea that we did before. Well, this this is gonna be the easiest character to translate, because that's literally like a one-to-one. -one, which is good, honestly. Like savor we savor the, the easy victories, honestly. In the terrible, terrible, dreadful progress that is to make games, we uh, respect the easy wins. So if I just come in and I just delete you and you. Is that it? Is that really it? How does it look like in comparison? It's still relatively big, which I appreciate. You know what? That's the design right there. The, the, again, like this this one is easy because it's just so iconic. Right away, you know. I guess I could I could maybe give a little bit more of a design element to the to the worm. I could give the worm a, like a little bit more. I don't know what I could give to the worm. Defin definitely not sharp teeth. Although. Definitely. No I don't know. He doesn't need more. Among Us? He's per How dare you, Simon? He's perfect? I mean, my wife did say he's perfect. Oh, you're going to be a fun one to do the line work for. Because a lot of this is like absolutely not symmetrical. But that's okay. I'm just I'm just getting the idea for... I'm getting the vibes for this guy. I got to peace up now. No worries. Thank you for coming today, Doppy. Have a lovely, lovely rest of your day. So long, eh, Bowser. Bye-bye, Doppy. All right. Let's do this. We begin first by drawing the shape of the appel.
Something like that. And then something like this. Perfect. Again, these little details, absolutely like nailed. Not a problem at all. Not a problem at all. I say, struggling. Nah, I'm fine. Okay, uh, let me just uh, shift my shoulders a little bit. We got six minutes left in this cycle. No problem at all. All right, so now. Hit me with the shape for this boy, okay? That's right, he's got that thumb looking face, you know what I'm saying? No confidence in my lines today, by the way. No confidence. No confidence today. Let me just immediately go down here and just delete these lines that I don't need so that I can better decide what I need and what I don't need let's see one eye two eye and I like the eyebrows being slightly raised because it makes them look a little bit less threatening it makes him look like a fun, silly little monster that you fight, which it's true. You're fighting this guy really early on. So that's this side of the of the apple. He's mad because you're in his swamp. It's true. Also, Kitty, how dare you? You are in me swamp. There's a joke. There's a joke in here. There's a joke to be made about this being like an ogre, an ogre, ogre worm. Again, like the most important thing with assigning a monster is making sure that the name is a pun. If video games have taught me anything, is that monsters and their names should be a pun whenever possible. Tell me in, I'm in me mom's swamp. Get out me swamp. Oh, there's the bit. Thank you, kitty. I'm in me mom's swamp. Vroom, vroom. We're so old, kitty. We're so, we're so old. We're so old. Something like this. Maybe. The only part that I'm not happy with is this section of the tail right here.
Maybe just bring it all the way in, Maxi. Maybe. Let's play with coloring. Let's play with coloring. So, red for sure. We're going in hard on red, by the way. Seeing as how that is, this we only have one reddish color in the whole palette, and it's this guy. So guess what? This is gonna be our our new red for the apple. Uh, and I think we might we might take this orange to be the. No, it has to be that color for sure. Yeah, the col the unripe part of the aura of the orange, the orange, the apple. What if I have this not be like consistent? Eh, I don't know if I like it. I don't know if I like it. Let's see. Let's go for the for a little bit of. Uh -uh. I mean that look. That straight up looks like an apple. Is that a bad thing, Maxi? It's not. It's not. I'm just. I'm trying to catch the. There's a shape here that I'm looking for, and I'm not finding it. I could just do what I did the last time and just have it be uh, like a wave, which would require it not to be uh, drawing assisted. That might be best. We'll see. I guess I, I guess what I could do to make this easier on me so that it looks better, I could have a gradient. I could have a transition between those two colors. That's like one way that I could do it. And the way that we do it is th is is like this. That might be better. Ooh, that sounds delicious, Dobby. I have not tried that, but that sounds delish. Something like this. Uh, definitely thinking I'm gonna make the enemy green as well. But for now, I did hear the bell go off, so everyone, please consider getting up and stretching. I am going to be doing that right now. Ooh. All right, so here's the plan. Um, I'm thinking about what we can do for the rest of the day. I want to finish this apple boy. I'm going to let this slime just like simmer in the back of my mind. You know, I understand it's true. You don't have to reinvent the slime slash the wheel, but I want to think about it some more. Uh, I have to design two mushroom boyos. Oh, that's true. Yeah, it does also kind of look like Applin. Uh, but so I have to design two mushroom boyos. So I would actually appreciate some help. I would like to um, request the aid of chat in designing uh, two different mushroom boyos. A small mushroom boyo and a big mushroom boyo. Please feel free to start to... Uh, Maybe not. I mean, you could start just shouting names of mushrooms that I could look up as reference. Because clearly we're going to use real mushrooms as reference. Clearly. Uh, I'm up on my feet. I'm stretching. There we go. Oh, chanterelles are cute. This is very true, Chippy. The dungeon meshy mushroom boy. That's a fair point, kitty. Also, by the way, don't forget to hydrate, please. Take a sip of water right now. I said. <laughs> Take a sip of water right now.
Uh, unclip you. Y'all don't mind me being a little bit quiet today. Kendra says, I'm sipping, but it's cream soda. Drink some water. Why not? Why not both? Por que no los dos? Why not a little bit of cream soda and a little bit of water at the same time? You get double the hydration and I don't have to beat you up. You out there double fisting your drinks? Okay, so the thing is, I'm neurodivergent, so I always need to have like two drinks at all times. Yeah, you need a tasty drink and water. Alternatively, two different types of water. Water can be tasty, y'all. I don't know. Like, ev every time that I'm like, oh, but this water is not special. I am reminded of the hundreds of thousands of years that our species did not have access to water, um, com like, easily. And I put myself in the shoes of somebody of, I don't know, let's say somebody in the Oregon Trail. Literally, like, you know, transporting themselves across the wilderness of the United States of America and being like, well, I sure appreciate just having access to drinkable water at all times. Kitty, our ancestors... Uh you don't mean that. You actually don't mean that. If they could drink the Sani, they would drink all the Dasani they could. Come on now. Let's not be facetious. We all hate the Sani, but in a in a survival situation we're drinking that Dasani. I'm the first in line at the at the Dasani hand, handouts. I wouldn't. Kitty, shut the hell up, Kitty. You would rather perish? Kitty, be honest, you would rather perish, Kitty, really? I'm memeing, obviously, I, I, I knew it. You, you, you debated me again for a second, but I'm like, there's no way Kitty mean th means this. Kitty, walk this back, please. <laughs> oh, that, that, that sounds about right, actually. Would not surprise me, Kitty says, and I agree on that, actually. Alright, what am I doing? Well, I am currently adding highlights and whatnot to... This little guy. Am I just adding little highlights to this little guy? I'm back. Welcome, welcome back, Cade. Welcome back. Welcome. How you doing? Oh, 
There's a Scott video about it, dude. Let's add more shading to this apple, by which I mean any shading at all, by the way. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, friendo. Stay strong. We love you. This is going to be a pain. Hell yeah. Please, please do share that link, Cade. You have my permission to spam your link. Who's streaming today? Let me doubly check before I start talking about my friends. I think Ronnie's definitely not. Ronnie does not stream on Mondays. But when is st Ronnie streaming next? Ronnie's streaming tomorrow. More Pentiment tomorrow. Let's go. And what about Nomia? What's Nomia doing? Dude, if I could teleport everywhere, I would. Not even kidding. Nomia has not shared the schedule for this week. All right. Well, what Nomia is doing is a mystery to me. As always... A mystery. Maxi, what's Nomia up to? Man, wouldn't I want to know? Wouldn't I like to know what Nomia's up to? Now, what's going to be the I guess the highlight color is going to have to be this orange, unfortunately. Nomi said they were streaming tomorrow, but I don't know what it is. Okay. If only Nomia Vixi were here. The smallest eraser I could possibly manage, because I forgot to separate these layers. And am I going to separate them now? Uh-uh. Too late for that. Okay. Now what about the what about the bottom of this apple, Maxi? Big apple, 3 a.m. <laughs> Kitty says, mmm, can't wait till lunch then I can have a tasty apple. It's so true. Kitty did in fact pack a tasty apple today for lunch. Angry Wormy. <laughs> Hi DB. Welcome back. Welcome, welcome. It's been a little bit. How you doing? This is a monster from my upcoming uh, RPG. It's called the D the Doppelganger. I'm gonna give you a chance to guess why it's called that. Have you been, DB? Anything fun or exciting on your end? Since the last time we chatted. I'm good. Cross stitch and chill. So I thought I'd stop by. Hell yeah. Thank you for tuning in. What'd you cross stitching? I bet it's nerdy as hell. I say in a positive light, by the way. That is absolutely an endearment. This is spoken with the utmost endearment, by the way. 
Oh my god, yes. I freaking knew it. Incredible DB. Incredible DB. Absolutely love it. So, I, oh, usually when I need to add the dark, a darker color to the green, I just do this purple. Oh, hell yeah. Awesome. I love that. Yeah. Oh, I was going to ask you to actually share on the Discord, so thank you. Thank you for saving me having to ask. I just love seeing, like, the creative work on the people on the Discord, honestly. Everyone is just so creative. All right, now what about this brown? I'm pretty sure that... That's not gonna work, so let's go with you. That barely works, so I'll take it. Now, I guess since we're doing like this kind of like Kind of the spice having to do it like this, but I, I, I unfortunately with this color uh, palette, I don't really have a dark green to use. So I have to rely mostly on uh on this like on darker purples actually for the contrast, uh, which I th I, th I, th I think it it gives it a bit of character, so it should be fine. But still, it's not exactly you know. Maybe I'll change them later. You never know. I kind of despise this guy right here. Cracks knuckles. All right, comes open. Arf, arf for y'all. Let's go. Good job, Kate. Let's do this. Kate's commissions are open, y'all. So if you would like Kate to draw you something, freaking go get him. Ooh, a sketch tier. might be it. Ooh. Ooh, I love that. <laughs> Is this you? Is this really you? That's it for you. Am I happy with this design? I'm actually not 100% happy. I'm about 80% happy, which is good enough for me to move on. So with that, we have completed the Dappelganger and the Ore Muncher. Two of the beginning monsters you will encounter in the game. And I do think the, the rendering does look better than before. I mean, like, it's 
I mean, it's, it's night and day for between these two little guys right here. So I think it's good enough for now. So I want to, I have like 30 minutes left before we have to do dailies. I want to design some mushrooms. So let's jump like right the heck in. No preamble, no nothing. So I need a small mushroom and a big mushroom. So let me look up RPG mushroom monster minus AI minus prompt. Cause I don't give me no AI generated BS. There's the oh the maple the maple story mushroom. I love him. He's just so round. He's just so round. All right, 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 all right. Okay, Maxi, focus, Maxi, focus, Maxi. Okay. Okay, where, give me like the, the regular human face for just like one second, please. Okay. So the regular human face goes like about this away, huh? I do re everyone shut up, shut up. You're not seeing anything else on this screen, by the way. You're not seeing anything else. Oh my God, let's go. <laughs> Kate says, if you have a dungeon mesh OC, Kate will give you a discount. Dark Souls Mushroom Enemy. Yeah, because he's just, he's just like a mushroomy dude. He just looks like a mushroom. He's just like a mushroomy lad. Dungeon Meshy Mushroom. Got the, the, the strut of this mushroom. This walking mushroom has got a strut. Okay, kind of, kind of, kind of love him. Kind of love him. Anyways, back to this, back to this little fella. I'm thinking we could make the the cap bigger. So hit me, hit me with your best shot. Why don't you hit me with your best shot? Hit me with your best shot. Fire away. Oh my god, let's go. <laughs> I yeah, me too. I should maybe I should make a a, a self insert honestly. Maybe I should make myself a a self insert. says also damn i need to draw more women is all boys in here oops all t boys <laughs> whoops i can't believe it can you believe I, I i filled my entire ipad with t boys strange let's see Oh my god, somebody drew the, the mushroom from Dungeon Meshi walking away as a sticker, but he has a little butt. And that I respect. Dude! Let's go, Kendra! Exciting! The brain worms. Hey, 
Okay. What if... What if I have this shape here be like the mouth? We give it like a like the buck teeth because it's like a like a, a beba. Wait a minute, there might be something here. Huh. It's a little mushroom. I kinda There's There's something about this little fella that is actually kind of speaking to me. What if no eyes, though? Okay, okay. So, my thing is, would you be against the idea so he, he, so this little fella, it doesn't have eyes, but the spots, the spots on its cap give the impression of eyes. Although then again, wouldn't, wouldn't you want to fight this fella? But look at him! He's so pathetic! I love him! And then we give him a little belly button. Maybe. Does he taste good? Good roasted? Maybe. Me when I see girls? Wow! Wow! Me every time I see my wife? Wow! Okay, all right, all right, all right. It's fine, it's fine. <laughs> Wait, I got an epic dragon, mommy? I haven't played that clip today, so I figured I should do it. Redeem Boo? Oh, damn. Me when I see my wife, Mario screaming compilation, it's so true. <laughs> Fellas, I think this is him. I might be willing to, like, make the bottom of the cap, like, shorter. <gasps> Fellas. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. No, no, actually, you know what? No, I'm walking it back. I actually think we need to see his, his like, stem. What, what, what do y'all think? What do y'all think? I like them, Siskade. Okay, now. If this works then, what we need to do now, we're gonna back up for a second. I like him, he's so goofy. Uh, I want to look up, I'm going to look up Mushroom, Mushroom Monster RPG Evil. Like, like, now I want to, give me, like, the strongest version of a Mushroom Monster. Because now we get to draw his big brother. So, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to give you a little spoiler, okay? In the RPG, 
Sometimes when you defeat one of these little guys, it summons the big guy. So you may want to think twice about picking a fight with these little guys. So, I want him to be big and imposing, but still contain like the same like aspect. Oh, there we go. A little a little bit on, on the way of, of teeths. There we go. There we go. It's got teeths instead of that. And then what, Maxi? And then what, Maxi? Hmm. I do also think that it should be elevated to indicate the fact that it's a, it's a bigger, stronger buffer monster. What else can I use to indicate? I don't want to make them gross. Half of these, like, half of these, like, um, mushroom monsters that I'm finding, they're gross. I don't want them to be gross. I want him to be, like, silly. So clearly, you know. I do realize this is giving me Goomba vibes, which is, like, truth be told, like, you know. The OG, to be entirely honest. So, what about the Dark Souls Mushroom? He's just, like, big, huh? So maybe maybe we just draw him as having like absolutely no chill. So ignore okay, so ignore the the shaped eyes then. Maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Not the timer. Anything but the timer. There's something about this guy that's just making me laugh. I don't know. He he still looks really silly. I'm not gonna lie. What what if for scale? No, that would be kind of silly. I love that he's silly. This is fair. This is a fair point. Okay, I'm gonna get up and stretch. I'm gonna get up and stretch. I was thinking that for scale, it could have, like, smaller little mushrooms around him to show that scale that he's way bigger, but maybe that's the path forward. We'll see. Also, actually, uh, during this break, I'm going to get up. I'm going to go use the bathroom. So I'm going to go pop a quick little ad, and I'm going to be right back, okay? So again, don't go anywhere. Uh, I'm going to be right back. Just going gonna, gonna to go take a quick little bio break. Be right back. Beep, boop.
I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Hello there, everyone. It's me. Also, I didn't, see, I didn't see Kate's comment, but I love it. Kate says, I'll take you guys. You, you, you would bop over the head with a big stick for 800, Alex. He definitely still looks quite boopable. Boppable. Okay, I'm going to duplicate one of these little guys. I want to see how hard would it be to draw this little guy but smaller, okay? How hard would it be to draw a couple of these guys but very small, okay? So the player realizes, holy crap, I should not have beat up those little guys. I really should just draw it centered now that I think about it. Uh, th that would absolutely make things easier now that I think about it. Boop. Let's put you in the center real quick. Kapow. And now let's just draw you. Whoop. <laughs> like how small they look like in comparison. So what, uh, like a couple of these on the side? Just to give the impression that it's like, yeah, that's right. This is what the big one looks like. Oh! And there is the, ti the time air bringing us back to work. I'm gonna do 20-ish minutes more and then we're gonna do dailies, okay? Combine both of you. Make sure that you're both aligned perfectly centered. There we go. Can we actually just delete this here? This might work. In that case, since we cannot see the back of you, And then what? What if you have like bulbous growths to indicate that you're really more of like a, you know, grown up mushroom? I don't know about that. What if I just give it a horn like everything else I've been doing today? Hmm, there's a doodle right there. Am I 100% sure of this, of this big doodle? I'm not sure. I do like this guy though. This guy's basically locked in. So let, let's, let's doodle him. He's locked in. I like him. I love him. So, let's turn drawing assist on. And just dive right in. A little bit of this. A little bit of that. Connect these. Give it the big old buck tooth. Cause he's just a silly little guy. Give me that belly button. Give me a few lines to represent the fact that this is, you know, in fact, a mushroom. Give me his big ol' eyes. Make them perfect circles, please. And then his little dot eyes right there. Oh, he's so cute! This guy looks kinda mushy. He does, huh? It's a little mushy guy. Does the belly button and the mushroom imply that they're born? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Things do not worry about that that one. Specifically that one. Now, what color scheme for these mushrooms? I mean, I feel like the most classic color aesthetic for a mushroom is the red cap, right? Everybody loves the red cap. Let's try beginning with a red cap.
Alternatively, could go with for with a more playful color, like a purple. I do realize I don't have any monsters that are purple now that I think about it. The purple does immediately make it seem like it's poisonous, though. Which, which, I don't think this guy is actually poisonous. His big bro is poisonous. You don't want to mess with him. You def- All of my- <laughs> All of my everything is always purple. That's a fair point, Cisco. Least toxic male is this little guy right here. You never know. He might have opinions, honestly. He has thoughts on crypto- Like, he, he doesn't. He has no thoughts. I lied to you. That was a joke. This little guy has no thoughts. Never in his life has he had a single thought. And he's not about to start today. My god, you're such a silly little guy. You're just a silly little guy. Who let you out of the house? Yes, I forgot to turn on drawing assist. Whatever, it's fine. Don't worry about it, okay? Do not worry about it. It's okay. It's a fine. Alright, am I gonna just immediately start adding... Shading here? I don't see why not. I don't see why not just start doing... I don't see why not just start doing this. Absolutely. Welcome back to M. Karen does like half form sentences. I would love to say that it's because I've been learning Japanese lately, but that's not true. I'm going to start learning Japanese again this week. I'm getting, I'm going back on the Japanese train. Why? Because I want to learn it. Because I'm very interested in it. Because we might be visiting Japan eventually. I mean, we will visit Japan. You know, maybe this year, maybe next year. I don't know. So I should probably start brushing up my Japanese. I don't know if I like the little stretchy marks anymore. I liked them once upon a time, but now I'm like, maybe they're not needed. Maybe it's not needed for this little fella right here. God, he's so dumb. God, you're so dumb. Well, you're my best invention today. I'm, I'm gonna be entirely honest with you, fella. Little guy, you're the best thing I've made all day today. full yellow cap oh or orange forgive me the orange makes him look a little bit less threatening it, it makes him look kind of like the maple story mushroom you know what yo hell yeah let's go Cade. good job He's just a little guy. I love him. He's so dumb. There we go. How do we feel about the dots, everyone? How do we feel about the dots? I like one dot being over the eye. It makes him look kind of scrappy, like a little youth with dirt on his face. Makes him look like a little fella. Oh 
Oh my god, I love him. Is he the mascot? Say bye bye to Slimies? Everyone say hi to the mushroom? He needs a dumb name, by the way. He needs a dumb name. Mushroom puns. Okay, let's go. Mushroom puns, let's go. Shroomy, fun guy? I mean, like... Like, fun guy is, like, such an easy, like, go-to. I feel like there's gotta be more than just... Shroomy is kind of fun. Sush... Shush... Sushroom? Mike, how dare you? How dare you say that? Portobello. Mm. Fun guy. Is, is he a fun guy? Are you having fun at his party? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Are there any lines to color with this fella? I feel like I need to add more to this. Can I have him as a familiar who sits on my shoulder, pleading? Not in the demo. Not in the demo. I'm gonna- I'll just tell you right now. Not in the demo. You can fight him for his loot. And then pick up- and then get in trouble with his big bro. There you go. Something like this will kind of give the impression that it is, in fact, a mushroomy dude. There you go. Something like this. Okay. Something like that, except drawn better, Maxi. Wow, this eraser is huge. Imagine he's speaking his name in a funny voice, but he can only speak his name in like a Pokemon. Shroomy! Shroomy, Shroomy! <laughs> no worries, Divya. Thank you for trying, though. Shroomy, Shroomy! Shroomster. Okay. Maxi, this is the third time you have... De deleted that and redrawn it, Maxi. What's your problem? The problem is that I'm bad. I'm bad, and you should know that. He actually kind of looks. Like he has like little like cheek marks now. I like. I like. I like that. All right, let's do a little bit of shading on the cap. Cap. His name is Cappy. S sh sh shroomy. I, I'm I'm real I'm really not understanding. I am really not on the oh Kino Chibi. Oh my god. Little deformed mushroom. Kinoko? Kinoko? Mushroom child. Uh I'm literally gonna ride over this yarn yarn. Oh no, kitty. Kitty, please, kitty. Hold back, kitty. Don't don't let the anger control you, kitty. Ca ca cap like Cappy Like there's something about Cappy, right? Or something Cap? You know, you know what I realized? This guy almost looks like he could be like a like an earthbound enemy. He has that character, you know what I'm saying? I like I like <laughs> Suddenly, you add a little eye bag, so it looks just like Seku. Wow, is that Seku? Is that Seku? Is that my boy Seku? Anyways. Me, me, Seku when I make that joke.
And now, what's the highlight color? Is it going to be literally just yellow, Maxi? I guess it has to be yellow. You secoing out there? Dude. Sec seku in moderation, by the way. Remember, if you must seku, always... What's the joke, Maxi? Always wear protection? What does that mean? Do you think Seku wears a bike helmet when they go biking? Be honest, do you think Seku wears a bike helmet? Or do you think Seku likes to live dangerously? He might suck his blood. He's a tick. I mean, that's fair. I keep messing this up. Maybe not in the middle. Wait, I got the name? Kitty, hit me, kitty. I'm ready, kitty. Hit me, hit me, hit me. What's this fella's name, kitty? Capico? Capico! Oh, I do kind of like that. Cap child. Child of Capi, Capico. Capico is pretty cute, honestly. You've been hit by, you've been struck by my wife's good ideas. I'm struggling so bad with this, the little bit of shine that I want right on the head to show that this guy is just incredibly bald. Boom, done. Okay, I'm not gonna touch that no more. Uh, the only thing left is to recolor the lines, which there's very little for this fella, I'm not gonna lie. This guy is really easy. I would say the easiest darn character in this game to draw. What about on the top? I guess it would be the dark red. And what? I could do the top of his eyes? Yeah, I think this actually looks really cute. Just doing the top of the eyes. Maybe not this, not that for sure. That's him right there. Your Honor, that's him. That's Capico. It's Capico. Capico. <laughs> or wh what if I used... What if I use the Spanish... What if I use the Spanish, like, diminutive system? Capito? Capitin? Ca Capitin? Capitin? And then uh, his big brother is like, Capitón. Maybe. Something to think about, but for now, he's complete. Look at him. It's a little feller. Load him up. That sounds like Captain Ma Ma Mostly. Well, then we can make a joke with the pirate captain who has a bunch of them as a, as like a little uh, dude. What if the pirate captain has a bunch of these as like little like uh, minions? Well, it looks like I'm never ever not doing just more than three illustrations in one stream. By the way. Very incisive, but I feel like that's okay. Need a Captain Mushroom now? It's true. 
Anyways, it's 1.30. It's time for dailies. I am going to unplug the cable on my iPad. And I want you to know that I am not unplugging anything on your computer. Okay, 3, 2, 1. There we go, okay? See? See? It's fine. It wasn't your computer. It was mine. Oh, no, Kate. That is dangerous. I don't like hearing that. Kate says, Today's Wordle made me mad, and I gave up on today's connection. Limau, I did not have the enough spoons. Oh, no. Do I have spoons today? Brother. Do I have spoons for that? Uh, I don't know. All right, I hope you... So, so, sorry for uh, banging my desk and making one of my monitors nearly fall over. All right. Kendra says, I set, I set a connection speed record for myself, but I'm not sure about the Wordle. I got it, but raised quite an eyebrow. Oh, here we go. All right. Spoon. <laughs> Spoon. No, no, no. Spoon seller. Give me your most powerful spoon. I am going into battle, and I need your strongest spoon. You can't handle my strongest spoon. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'll stop now, I'll stop now. That bit is over. All right, I'm just gonna cover up the writing screen. Hide the writing screen. Then we're gonna go over to the writing screen, and here we go. Beep, boop, beep, beep, beep. No, I meant this one. There we go, there we go. All right, let me grab Gwordle. Welcome to the dailies, the, se the daily segment where we do a segment where we only play the games you can play today, hence why they're dailies. All right, welcome to Wordle. Can we guess a word? A five-lettered word in six attempts or less. So, I'm doing them by myself, I'm so sad. I'm doing them by myself. I'm gonna open with stone. Okay, we're missing A and I. Satin. Well, no, no. Hmm. I want blimp. Let's do blimp real quick. S L. It could be A. Salad. Okay. S sal. Salty? It's not salty. It's something. D it's something Y. Salgy, Salky, Salky? No way. It's Salwi, Salsi, Salky, Salzi, Salvi, Sally? Is it Sally? It's Sally? Excu excuse me? I have questions. Wordle? Wordle? I have- I- I thought- I thought we had a rule! I thought we had a rule of no proper nouns here! Hold up, hold up, it is a word? Hold up, I'm looking it up right now. Sally word meaning. I bet this search is going up today. Sally apparently. Sally. A sudden charge out of a besieged place against an enemy, a sortie? A military sortie? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Delete this one. This one's gone, okay? Whoever made today's Wordle, I'm sorry. You're gonna have to find a new job in New York City. I'm sorry. Goodbye. Bye-bye. So pissed. So pissed. Alright, connections for the day. Sally, really. So, we're making four groups of four, like with the game, like kind of like with the game, uh, code names. Pace, Clipper, Move, Medicine, Faster, Prompter, Rocket, Speed, Go, Spur, Commute, Hurry, Rate, Vision, Clip, and Pacer. Well, Go and Hurry, and Move, and Spur? No, 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 Go, Spur, Move. 
hurry. Ver ver um verbs about getting a move on. One away. I'm not confident. Let's look at okay. Ro rocket science. Medicine science. No. There's always one that is blank word, right? So work commute. Work move. Work rate? Work pace? No way. Teleprompter? Telemove? Television? Oh my god. Teleprompter, television, telemove, television. Telepace, teleclipper, telemove, telemedicine, telefaster. Telespeed, telego, telespur, telecommute. Telehurry, telerate, teleclip, telepacer. What's the last one? Tele teleprompter, telecommute, television. Telemedicine is a thing? Thank you, Kitty! Thank you! Bingo! Freaking knew it. Okay, so we, we got the one that is blank. So the rest of you just have regular relationships, hopefully. Spur, move, hurry. No. Okay, words that mean speed? The, the strands today pissed me the F off. Oh, no. All right, so what's a clip? A clip, clipper, spacer, and pace are destroying my brain right now. There's probably one that is like... There was a dumb one the other day that was like, like, the first three letters are the letters of a fruit or a color, and I'm like, shut the hell up. That's dumb. Rocket, spur, move, pace, speed. We're making good pace. We're making good speed. We have a good pace. Okay, it's already grabbed it. Hurry, pace, speed, move? No. Wait, is there a sports thing? Oh, there could be a sports thing. Rate, pace, speed. Oh, no. The rockets, the spurs. Oh, my God. The clippers. And the... And the pacer. It, it's not? Oh, it's pacers. Oh, my God. It's a football to boo boo boo. All right, so what's left? Pace, move, hurry, speed. Already guessed it. Okay, never mind. Go, move, hurry, faster. Go, move, hurry, faster. Step on it. Uh, good call there, DB. Good call. And how fast something is going. I hated this. I always, it's always bad. What about the strands? Kendra says this one sucks, so let's do it. Sign language. Why, Kendra? You thought you love sign language, Kendra? Okay, sign language. Um, I'm look, I'm thinking of things that signs say like stop, go. Coach? You, I do see coach. That is not it. I'm looking for stop. It's not? Okay. Sign language. Hmm. I see sign. All right, give me a hint. Oh, it's, oh, things related to, oh, okay, bull, okay, all right. All right, like, you're wearing a red flag to signal the bull, okay. What else? Bull? Sign language? I actually don't know if I get it yet. It's, is it Zodiac? Oh my god, it's the Zodiac. Oh my god. Okay. 
No, no, no. If it's the Zodiac, then we're looking. We're looking for crab. We're looking for uh, bowman. We're looking for fish. Is there an F here? There's no Fs, huh? So what? Virgo? Oh, the Virgin. Okay, all right. Oh, goat, 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 goat. Uh, good call there, DB. Uh, okay, goat, Virgin, bull. What else? Um, um. There's a crab. Where's the uh, R? R next to a B. R next to a B. Okay. There's no R's next to a B, so crab is not one of them. Well, this is literally ask for cancer, but there's no way it does. Oh, the main word is astrology. Oh my god. Okay. Straw? No. Ass? No. Ass? No. A oh, oh, astro astrology. There we go. Found it. Thank you. Ass? What sign is that? Dude, the, dude, that's the 13th Zodiac. Look it up, it's true. Uh, what What do you want? What do you want? It ends with S? Winter? Cold like winter? AFI's uh, first single? <laughs> Scorpion. Scorpion. A Scorpion. S... No. Peon. Escorp. Scorpion. So, wh what's in here? Scales. Oh my god. Es. Escales. Scales. Alright, we're, we're in there, boys. We're in there. We got this. There's two words here. What, what other freaking signs are there? There's the fish. There's Capricorn. That one's weird. <laughs> oh my god, Kane. Okay. Chart? No. Dude, I am legitimately... There are so many fake outs. There really are. Archer. Got it. Okay. Oh, and then the twins. Twins. Oh, my God. I got it. I did it. And with no help whatsoever except for the help I got. All right. What else do we do after this? Guess the game. Gemini like my wife. And Bull like my wife. All right. So, this is darker and darker, by the way. No? This... My bro... Is this the is this the Sims medieval? Cuz I'm looking at like the the placement of the things on the walls. It's not darker and darker, it's not in here. Okay, give me one skip. Excuse me. Okay, oh, no, this is like a modern... Okay, never mind. This is some sort of puzzly game. PC, PS2, Xbox, Xbox 360. Brother, I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't know who you are. Who are... Is this a Call of Cthulhu? Are you a bird? Is that a bird with a gun? Oh, that is hit. That's hit. Oh, it's hit. That's Hitman. Okay, it's the original. Hit. It's Hitman. Let's go with Hitman. Like blood money. There we go. <laughs> Sorry, just the birds who just got me. Yeah, this would have told me it was. Yeah, okay. Agent seventy six. All right, we we missed a few days. Let's check them out. Oh god, okay. This is a horror game. It's a relatively recent horror game. Six six seventy-six. Uh let's see. Give me one skip. Towers. Maybe Overwatch will do that crossover next, dude. Can you imagine? Dude, I don't know who you are, buddy. You have 
towers, you're probably PS5 and PC. Dude, I don't know who you are. Is it Deathloop? I don't think Deathloop looks like that. No, it doesn't. Dude. Is this that is it Pacific Drive? Really? That's what the game looks like? Man, this is weird. Okay, anyways, all right. What else did we miss? I, th I I'm sorry, Kate. I didn't realize that's what the game would look like. This POV tells me that this is like. Is this a first-person game? It looks like a first-person game. The details are very low to the ground. What's the name of that game with the sexy robot enemies? PC 71%. Only on PC, huh? Never mind, there's a gun. Atomic Heart? It. Okay. Who? 2022. Brother, I don't know who you are. Brother, I'm not gonna lie. I have never seen you before. Who are you? That's not hey. Every time there's a man in a power armor, doesn't mean that's Halo, okay? The Oh, oh, this this, this is this is that um it's that it's that um mo competitive shooter where you you set up portals and you like you have like rewind time. It's, it's split gate. Yeah, there you go. Okay. All right. All right. That's Halo. Guys, that's not Halo. All right. So, after this, we do Let's do the Pokédoku for today. All right, Pokédoku is the daily game where we try to fill a board full of Pokémon. So, we have dual type Psychic and Hoenn, Steel, Final Evolution, and can learn Thunderbolt. Okay? So, a dual type Steel Pokémon. That's really easy. Uh, let's start with Steel uh, Psychic, by the way. There's quite a few of these Pokémon. Metacross is the first one that comes to mind, but that might be a little bit too on the easy side. A steel tap from Hoenn? That one's rough. I mean, I guess Metang. Metang is a steel type from uh from Hoenn. 11% not bad. A final evolution from Hoenn. So, uh, a final evolution. We want a weird evolution, by the way. You meant for the psychics? Okay. I mean, we still have uh, Beldum. The f a weird final evolution. Nobody remembers Great Dilly. 1%, baby. <laughs> Siska. Okay. A Hoenn Pokemon that can learn Thunderbolt. Uh... Is there a possibility? Can can cast form learn? Can cast form learn Thunderbolt? That's probably a bad idea. I probably shouldn't do that. Wait, 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 wait. Minun! Yeah, Minun. There's no way. Plus one Minum? Minum? Where are you? Show your face. Pl okay, plus one and, and you know what? Plus plus one is good enough. That's good enough. Um, a psychic Pokemon that can learn Thunderbolt. That's all of them. Um, a psychic final evolution that nobody's gonna know about. Okay. Um, we got Mimira ahora. Buenas noches, Siska. Descansa. Remember, I love you. Take care. <laughs> <laughs> so long, eh, Bowser. Okay, a final a a final evolution psychic Pokemon from any generation. Uh, let's go for uh, Gen Five because nobody remembers Gen Five. So that would be a uh, Goth Gothatel. Five percent, baby. Told you, nobody remembers Gen Five. Uh, so a psychic can learn Thunderbolt. I'm gonna leave. These are relatively simple ones. So I'm gonna leave them for later. A steel Pokemon who's dual type. I mean, that's Onyx, baby. That's Onyx. That's Mawile. Let's go with Mawile. Let's go with Mawile Mega. 2% of people guess Mawile Mega. Let's go. 
a dual type who can learn Thunderbolt. That's like super easy. That's like literally like that. That's the, that's the Drio actually. He can't learn. Oh, he can learn Thunder. That's where I, that's where I went wrong. Rip, rip me. A dual type final evolution is nothing. So let's do the steel ones. A steel a steel psychic. Freaking belt on my man. 8%, not bad. And a psychic who can learn Thunderbolt. Now let me think. He learns Stry Attack. That's also true, Kitty. Fair point, fair point. Let's just go with Kadabra. Honestly, I know I know Kadabra for a fact can learn it. He can't learn Thunderbolt? Are you lying to me? Is this a joke to you? Okay, a dual type final evolution Pokemon. Uh isn't Luc Lucario uh Lucario is uh Lucario is literally steel um uh, fighting. So I missed two. My wife wasn't here to help me. The most common makes sense. Oh Alolan Raichu. Oh my god. I, sh I should have thought about the Raichus. Pachirisu would have also done it too, but whatever. Metagross Mega, that's where the, that was the rarest. Okay. Starmie. Hoopa Unbound. Cast form Sunny. Oh my freaking god. He could he could learn it. Absol Mega. Oh my god. So many random ass. Okay, well, that's the Pokedoku for today. Let's do Game Doll. Brought to you by Mr. Game Doll. Alright, can we guess games based on games? Let's go. So, um This is black blank. No, he, no, it's not. Okay, this is a guy on a motorcycle flying into space. What's his name? This is a game that um this is a game that Blizzard made before Diablo. Motorcycles Mayhem. Ghost Rider? Hot. Nancy Drew with a bike, let's go. Motorcycles Mayhem. What's the name of that terrible game with bikes in it? This is not go ghost ghost rider. Shut the hell up. You don't mean that. Dude. Motorcycles. No. The one that sets through in Vietnam? Yeah, that that one. Wait, no, it is! Oh my god, what's his name? What's his name? I this is it's literally it's a point and click adventure game by Blizzard. It's full throttle! Oh my god, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, this was this was Bl Blizzard. Thank you, thank you, Ronnie. Yeah, it's full throttle by Blizzard, by the way. Uh, let's go. Let's go to the artwork. So I'm looking at this. That is San Francisco. This could be anything. This could be DMC Devil May Cry. This could be anything. Yeah, I, I was thinking of Right to Hell Retribution. Can you just watch Dogs 2? Wait, no, no, no. This is Mad Max. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Turns out the bridge was actually a fake out. They faked us out with the, with the bridge. So. An emoji that I can't read. What emoji is this? What emoji is that? Pots? Ro oh, this is near Automata. Yeah, Ronnie's correct. It's Automata. God damn it, Ronnie. Points go to Ronnie, by the way. And now... Let us do the traditional. Let's start with Nier Automata. For good luck. Before 2017, a single player game that might have third person or side view. Before 2017, not by Platinum Games or Square Enix. Before 2017. It's not Overwatch, because Overwatch has both third person and side view. <laughs> a and I guess it's a it's role playing hack and slash. What about okay, Diablo three? Diablo Diablo three. Before twenty twelve, 
Bayonetta? It could be... No, 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 no. It's not Platinum Games. It can't be Platinum Games. How about DMC? You know, DMC that will make crime might actually not be bad. Before 2013. You're telling me DMC that will make cry was after Diablo 3? Holy crap, that timeline does not make sense in my brain. So, oh, it's a side view game. Although, it's isometric side view? Bird view? Twilight Princess? It's not just third person. It contains third person, but not just third person. Oh, we know that it's action fan- Okay, an action fantasy game that's single player. This could actually be... This could actually be Twilight Princess. Okay, between tw 2007 and 2011. Well, I guess it can't be because it's in one of these platforms, huh? Good call, kitty. Good call. Has to be on PC. It's not a Nintendo game. It's pro it's probably PS3 era. It must be PS3 era. Maybe it's only PS3, but it's been on the. Oh, it's, okay, it's been PC. PC is the one thing that's consistent here. So it's a PC game, third person fantasy, at action fantasy. Resident Evil 5? I don't think so. I don't think so, Ronnie. I am willing to guess Capcom. I mean, but like, DMC that will make cry is fantasy? And it's just like, that makes no sense. That has multiplayer. Good point, KD. Good point. Single player action fantasy. Before 2011. I mean, I was playing video games at this time. What's up? Is it, King is it Kingdoms of Amalur? No, that was 2012. Wait a minute, it's an EA game. Okay, okay, it's a, it's an EA game. Okay. I will take a hint. It's strategy role-playing action fantasy. It's strategy role-playing. Single-player strategy role-playing? No, Sims Medieval is not on here, unfortunately. It's EA. An EA published... Action, action fantasy game. Drag is it Dragon Age? It's Dragon Age. Oh my god, it's Dragon Age Origin. Correct saga. Is it Dragon Age 2? Or is it Awakening? What, 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 what's the difference here? I don't get it. It was Dragon Age Origins Awakening. Whatever that means. We did it. <laughs> Bingo. All right. We actually got it. 2010. Holy crap. We were awoken. This was before everyone was woke. This game is the reason why we're all woke now, actually. So let me do... Uh, it's 2 p.m., but let me do movie to movie before we call it a day. Hi, noms. Welcome back. Welcome. Welcome. It's okay, friendo. Hello. Good morning. Madame Webb to room. Okay. This is... Dakota Johnson. Sydney Sweeney. Adam Scott is in this movie. Okay. Adam Scott. We can do Adam Scott. What else? It's Adam Scott. It was almost Twilight Princess, by the way. Kendrick, could you please give me a quick review of Madame Weff, please? I don't know anything about it. Maxi, provide context. We almost thought it was Twilight Princess. Oh, Brie Larson! You haven't seen it? Then why are you lamowing? Why are you lamowing if you haven't seen it? William H. Macy? Okay, well, William H. Macy can get me to a bunch of things. It's so freaking bad. How do you know it's bad? How do you know it's bad? You haven't seen it. It's 
So Brie Larson can get us places. Okay, so I just need to know. I just need to know. Uh, Adam Scott. Adam Scott. What have you been in, Adam Scott? Celebrity escape room? Wait. Hold up. Hold up. Um, um, celebrity escape. I'm not defending it. I'm just curious, you know? I'm not defending it. I'm legitimately just like someone says this thing is bad. I'm like, why bad? Why bad? Uh, by the way, Ben Stiller was in uh, Mystery Men, by the way. With William H. Macy, who was in the room. Easy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Bingo! The shortest path was Dakota Johnson to 21 Jump Street with Blee Brie Larson. Okay. I would never have gotten there, but thank you. Mm, none of these jump at me. <laughs> the only issue Kendra's it would have okay, you know what? Okay, fine, 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 fine. Make your own, okay? Madame Webb. Madame Webb. No, not Madame, just Madame Webb. I want Madame Webb. Okay, Madame Webb to the room. Alright. Alright, great. How do I get there now? Uh well. Tell me why so. Wow, they ha everybody has really good pictures. Except for everyone who doesn't. Uh, okay, tell me why so was in... Uh, he was in The Disaster Artist. So, we have to get to The Disaster Artist. Now, I want... I want either William H. Macy... No, 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 no. I want Adam Scott. How the hell do we get to Adam Scott? Seth Rogen, were you in, ce in Celebrity? No, you were not in Celebrity, okay. Okay, let me flip around. Let me flip around. Adam Scott, you were in Celebrity Escape Room. With who else? Courtney Cox? Paul Rod? Kate McKinnon? Who's Kelly Clarkson? Who's this? Who's Kelly Clarkson? I don't even know who that is. Who the hell's Kelly Clarkson? It says Cele Parks and Recreation, the special weight hold up. That gets us Nick Offerman. That gets us Nick Offerman. We could go places through Nick Offerman. Who's Kelly Clark? Wait, what? Huh? Huh? What's the matter? What's wrong? What's wrong? Huh? What's the matter? What's the matter? What, what, why is everybody looking at me? Huh? Huh? Oh, you mean Kelly Clarkson? Yeah, I am familiar with Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is she the one who did it started out as friends, but it was just pretend? No, 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 no yeah, yeah. Since you've been gone, I've been free for the first time. Guys, I know who Kelly Clarkson is. You're all so quick to believe, to think that I don't know what I'm talking about. You're so quick. You're so quick to not believe me. Oh, no. Okay. He was in the guilt trip with Seth Rogen, who was in The Disaster Artist. Okay. With Dami Wiseau. Who was in the room. All right. Thanks for playing. <laughs> Ronnie says, guys, my stream went down after the Kelly Clarkson bit. So I can't trust you. You shouldn't trust me, though. Same way that we can't trust Chippy anymore. Anyways, thank you so much for coming to today's show. I love you all. I had a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of fun today. We got a, we got a bunch of art done, and that's good enough for me. Uh, I do also want to say, by the way, here's this kitchen for the week. Uh, tomorrow, I am playing Voice of Cards. I am trying out... This lovely RPG series by Joko Taro, by the way. Wow! Did you know he made an RPG called Voice of Cards? Dude, I'm excited to try it out tomorrow. Uh, and then on Wednesday, I'm going to be doing the Brave thing and actually coding my game. Live! Before a studio audience, which is you guys. On Thursday, I'm playing Left 4 Dead with Plexer and whoever else wants to jump on. And on Friday, I am playing... A, the Final Fantasy 1 randomizer. So we'll see what we get. 
Uh, and I'm gonna be taking a week off. Uh, I have personal things I gotta take care of, so I'll be gone for a little while, but I'll be back in time, I promise. <laughs> Tilt glasses? Coding, eh? Yup. I'm gonna be coding my game because I have to catch up with the work. Uh, so that's life. That's the rub. Thank you so much for coming to my stream. We'll be on vacation. Yeah, va yeah, vacation, question, question marks. Question mark, uh, quotation fingers. Are you really on vacation with families coming over? Anyway, anyways, I gotta get out of here. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have a lovely, lovely rest of your day. Uh, the secret word of the day is mushroom. Leave a comment on this video with the word mushroom and I will heart your comment. Uh, engagement means a lot for the algorithm. I would like to keep growing this channel, so please consider supporting me and helping me. It really means a lot. Also, by the way, uh, you can support me uh, on coffee.com slash mkaren. Top left corner of the screen. Uh, any donation that goes there uh, supports me and the show. Any other word, please? No, Mia, it's a word. It's okay. No, Mia, it's just a word. It has no power over you. You could also use the mushroom emoji. It's cute. Thank you for the links, Kate, and all the emojis. Let's go. I love you all. Please take care of yourselves and one another. And I'll be seeing you all tomorrow. Bye-bye. Take care. Goodbye, everyone. See you tomorrow. Beep boop!